APA is Austin Peace Academy. It's the longest running Islamic school here. In Austin, Texas, it was one of the first ones that used to be downtown where the university is located. And then eventually they bought some land and they moved to the Manor location. A bunch of families started the school 18 years ago. We wanted our kids to have the Islamic values and uh, nourish it within them. Kids that go on to different schooling system or public school system, they're really afraid, especially after 9-11, to say they're Muslims because they're afraid of being bullied. So they try to hide their identity. So in a way, we try to build that in them where even if they go on to the workforce, they're no longer afraid to say that I'm Muslim because now their faith is strong enough, their Iman is strong enough, they're proud of who they are. There are two Eids. The first is Eid al-Fitr after the end of the month of fasting in Ramadan. And then this is the second Eid, Eid al-Adha, which celebrates and commemorates uh, the faith of Abraham. There's a word in Arabic called dhikr. It means to remember. So Eid is a dhikr. It's, it's, a, it's a moment where we remember God, we remember the blessings that He's given to us. And the exchange is that we owe a certain amount of obedience to Him. Islam means peace through the submission to the will of God. If you are in, in a state of Islam, you are at peace with everything else that exists. Allah says in the Quran that one of the greatest examples of obedience is a tree. Because a tree does everything it was created to do. It makes shade. It stands tall and it provides certain benefits for the human being. Right? But the tree doesn't question Allah. Allahu Akbar. Islam gives that same advice to the human being. The difference is we have a choice. Right? And we have a choice to either follow the guidance or, or not. Allahu Akbar.